Keith Cunningham, the author of The Road Less Stupid, posited that uh, what would be hell on earth? So imagine, if you will, you're lying on your deathbed and the person who walks into the room is the person you could have been. So you're lying there and the person you could have been walks in. Do you recognize that person? Close your eyes and imagine what that would be like. Hi folks, Lloyd Easter is here and uh, I'm the author of The Upper Curve, Chief Investment Officer for Jared Bunch and Invest. And I want to talk to you about just what does it mean to live a life of purpose and recognizing that person that walks into the room that is the person we could have been. And so what does that mean exactly? So if we live our lives in such a way when that person walks into the room, we recognize him or her, right? Because we've lived what we could have been and what we could have become. And if you're like me, a Gen Xer around 50-ish, right? So you look at your life and you say, okay, have I done enough to this point? Wow, I, I thought there would be more than this. I thought I would have accomplished more than this. Wow, life just escaped me, right? We all have these moments, but now we can do something about it, right? So we look at the next half of our lives, right? And there's less life ahead of us than there is behind us. And that's the whole purpose of the upper curve, right? And so how do we live our life along this curve so that we receive and experience and achieve exponential results from what we do the rest of our life? And the rest of our life has to be done with purpose, the purpose built on passion, uh, built on freedom, and built on wealth to be able to fund the things that we want to do. It requires us to elevate our gain, right? Living a life of mastery, not a life of default. So when we get to the end of our lives, can we answer these questions, right? Um, did the people I love, love me? Did I have an impact? It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be uh, monumental. It doesn't have to be all over the world. It has, in your community, in your family, in your life, did you make an impact? You know, the legacy is about me, but more important is how did I impact others around me? And then did I, was I in integrity, right? Did I walk? the talk, that I live the life that I wanted to live, that I live the life that I said I would live and do the things that I wanted to do. And that's about recognizing that person that walks in the room, the person that we could have been so that we get to our deathbed, we've lived a life fully to what we wanted to accomplish and what we wanted to achieve. And you can do it now. You can start now, right? It's all about the habits. It's about the decision. It's about the things we do on a daily basis to live that life of purpose. And when we live a life of purpose, we create the wealth to fund that purpose so that we don't have any other stresses in our life other than how do we achieve that purpose. And we will achieve exponential results so that when we get to that point, we'll have designed a life we don't want to retire from and live a life that is our purpose and is the person that we fully could be. And I hope you'll do that journey with me because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm on that journey. I'm on that curve to live the person and be the person that I know it can be. And it's hard. It's a struggle. And I want you to do it with me so that we can become it together uh, and reach our destination fully fulfilled with wealth, uh, purpose, and freedom. All right. Subscribe to my blog. Get my videos. Uh, sign up for my upcoming course, the Financial Boot Camp, so that you can fund your purpose uh, and live a life of freedom. Look forward to speaking with you.